Tell us about the one million campaign uh, signatures. The one million campaign uh, is a campaign initiated by the younger generation of Iranian women inside Iran and by the endorsement of uh, many prominent experienced uh, uh, women like Shirin Abadi, Simin Behbahani, um, and uh, many prominent writers, lawyers, male and female, uh, many movie directors, and but most of the work on the ground is being done by younger women activists and some male activists. Too. Well, the question is, uh, the goal is realistic. I mean, you, got, you don't want to change the constitution. The goal is to collect uh, one million signatures uh, supporting equal rights for women and uh, toward the change of the present law, especially the discriminatory aspects of the present law, particularly the law, the family law which is very male biased. The goal is um, to, first of all, educate people about it. It's a face-to-face -face campaign. Uh, people go door to door and meet uh, with women, educate them about what is the status of women in the legal system, and give them a pamphlet, which is very educational, and ask them to sign if they are uh, supportive of changes toward equal rights. Uh, in, they have uh, trained about 400 uh, young uh, women activists in different parts of Iran, in provinces, in small cities, uh, that they are also mobilizing in their own community to educate people about this. But the real question is, is it, do you need an amendment to the Constitution? Right. Uh, amendment to the Constitution, but this is not necessarily an amendment to Constitution, but it is a change in the in those aspects of law which are sexist and discriminatory. Uh, it is not easy. We don't know whether they can succeed really in uh, presenting a, legislat a legislature in the Parliament, in the Majlis, to pass uh, different laws. But even if that doesn't happen in near future, what is already happening is that um, it, it brings a awareness. wonderful opportunity has been existed to raise people's consciousness and to press the reality and idea that these laws are problematic, are discriminatory, and are outdated. They are lagging behind the reality in Iran. For example, the marriage age, typical marriage age in Iran today, for women is about 22, 24, for men about 25, 26. But the legal minimum marriage age, which after some reform has become 13 years old for girls and 15 for boys. While in the, still, still, According to Shari, a girls can uh, get married at age nine. So it shows that the 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 law is lagging behind. But uh, usually, the legal system should be ahead of the culture and ahead of the history and society in order to you know to kind of keep up with the. Uh, latest advances of humanity, but in Iran, unfortunately, the law is uh, backward and is lagging behind the changed uh, and new realities of Iranian society. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.